Veteran actor Victor Spinetti has worked with everyone over the years, from the Beatles to Richard Burton, from playing rep with Sean Connery to being the mad Jaffa cake eater. So when he came to Blackpool to appear in crime spoof Murdered to Death at the Grand Theatre in the summer, we just had to go along and find out more. We're talking about films and Hollywood and that sort of thing. A bit closer to home, you uh, featured in all the Beatles films, yeah. didn't you? How did you get involved with the Beatles? Well, John Lennon and George Harrison came to see the show, Old Lovely War, in Wyndham's, 1963. And they came backstage and George said, you've got to be in our film. And he said, in fact, you've got to be in all our films. And I said, why is that? He said, well, if you're not in them, me mum won't come and see him because she fancies you. <laughs> so that started it. <laughs> and so I was in all their films, and they were fantastic. You see, there again, John Lennon had no ego. He, I said to him one day, is there a draw of songs, you know, that will be discovered after you've gone? No, he said, I just ring up Paul and say, Paul, I think it's time we get together to write another hit and we get together and write one. <laughs> that, you know, we find it. Mm. Not, well, yes, I have a drawer full of songs, one for a funeral, one for a wedding, one for a bar mitzvah. No, we just find it. And uh, so uh, he and I wrote a play together mm. based on his books. So it became um, a family they were from up north, I was from down south, and we were provincials. We met in London, we were not from London. And so we sort of, in a way, huddled together, if you know what I mean. Uh, and extraordinary, they were ex absolutely extraordinary. I mean, for example, when my sister got engaged, I was working on Hard Day's Night at the time. And so I'm going home early today because my sister's arriving... Uh, with her fiancé, and my engagement present is to give them a weekend in London. Theatre, nightclub then, uh, a restaurant, hotel. In other words, all the things they won't do once, once they've settled down. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a great idea, they said. And where are you taking it? And I told them, and they all turned up. I wouldn't dream of asking them, because I couldn't go anywhere. They all came and said, we've come to have a dance with Janine for your birthday. And they all whirled around the floor, and my sister was very calm and lovely until they left. And then she screamed for about 20 minutes. <laughs> they were like that, you see. In the middle of all this hysteria, in the middle of all this um, mania, beetle mania, there was a still small centre at like the centre of... Uh, a hurricane, where the lads would be sitting and talking. And in those days, God, we're such snobs. Um, I suppose every country has them. Um, more about that later. Um, but uh, th they would they would talk. People used to say to me, would you talk about? What earth did you talk about with those long-haired gits? What these pop people? What do they talk about? I said, well, actually, I said, yesterday, you can imagine the faces of the people who asked me this question. I said, yesterday, we actually talked about the Freudian interpretation of dreams as opposed to the Jungian interpretation of dreams. Really? Yes. And uh, George Harrison saying, I wonder what music Beethoven wrote for himself other than what he had to write for his patron. I think there were things that he wrote that he... Oh, Years years before, he said, no, they had to write for the church. I wonder what they wrote for themselves. Was, we would talk. We would really talk. And then, of course, years later, when um, sometimes I'd be with them, and they'd roll up a joint, right? And John would say, don't give it to Vic, it's a waste. He's permanently stoned on life. Well, Victor had so many fascinating stories to tell. We're actually going to be running a special programme featuring the whole interview with him a little bit later on. So there again, if you'd like to find out more about that, keep an eye on the website and Facebook and we'll post details nearer the time of when that special programme with Victor Spinetti will be aired. Well, that's about all we've got time for. Time goes really quickly, doesn't it? It certainly does. Thank you very much for sharing some of these fascinating memories of 2010 with us. Please do support the various organisations that we've been featuring here. They all work extremely hard in their respective fields and they're also very good at what they do. And they're well worth checking out. 
As we mentioned, there are lots of fascinating programmes coming up over the next few months on many different themes. So do keep checking the websites for details of those, and why not sign up for Facebook alerts so you don't miss out on anything. We look forward very much to being with you again really soon. Until then, it's bye from me, Lucy. And bye from me, Paul. 